to my kitchen. Today I'm actually going to show you how to make laksa soup. So this request is actually from my mum, Wanda Carter. So thank you mum for that request. Now the version I'm actually making is vegan. Now trust me when I say this, it is beautiful. So don't think it's not nice because it is gorgeous. Now you can swap ingredients around to suit your preferred taste. So what I'll do is I'll get the ingredients together and I'll be back shortly. I've actually got the sheet that you use for sushi. Okay, we're gonna ground that up. We got turmeric, we got cumin, we got all of it, chili, garlic. Um, you can use shallots, um, but I'm actually using red onion in there. Um, cumin, we've got lemongrass, we've got all of it. So I'll go through it. First of all, I'm gonna get the seaweed. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Lift it up just to make it a nice fine powder. <coughs> Beautiful. Okay, now let's pop in the rest of the ingredients. Look at that, nice and easy. So I'm gonna add in the red onion. Or if you're gonna use shallots, you use three shallots. Pop in the garlic, the ginger. Ho, 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 the chili. And chopped lemongrass. Paprika. Turmeric. Ground coriander and cumin ground. We'll pop in some oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. Okay, we'll blitz this up now. Okay, that's lovely, that looks ready now. Beautiful, there we go. So we're gonna pop this into a hot pan. Okay, so we'll heat up the oil. So I'll get the light and paste in there. Stir that a little bit around. There we go. Now we're going to cook this gently for about 15 minutes. So I might have to put just a little bit more oil in there. Now I'm going to pop in about a tablespoon of fish sauce. It's, this one's vegan that I put in there. Now don't forget you can actually skip this step if you're not vegan guys. So we'll let that cook for a little bit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so now we'll add the stock. I've used vegetable stock. So we'll add the salt, just give it a bit of a stir, and we'll add the coconut milk. So we're going to simmer that for about 30 minutes. Do now is just add in the sugar and lime juice. Beautiful. I'm just going to check the taste. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is um, take this over, grab all the toppings and we'll put, the, put it all in the bowl. What I have here um, is, uh, you know, udon noodles. Now I've just used a packet. You can buy them from your normal Asian supermarkets or super stores. So this is the Zumichi noodles. That's the really thin, fine one. Now what we're gonna do is Soak these just for a little bit, not much, in boiling water, just till they soften. You don't want to overcook it because it will actually get cooked in the actual soup. 
No, I don't know, old habits, I can't help it. So just to absorb the shock in the glass and the boiling water. Probably don't need to do this, but I'm doing this anyway. So now the udon noodles will sit in there just for a couple of minutes. And then for the vimichi noodles, Just leave them in there just for a couple of minutes, not too long, and we'll drain it out the water. Okay. So I'm just going to take out the udon noodles. And I'll just take out the vimichi noodles. I'm just chopping up some fried tofu to go in the soup. This is completely optional. And you can have um, prawns in there if you like, chicken in there. It really depends what you want. I've got all my toppings waiting. So I've got bamboo shoots, I've got shredded carrots, I've got green beans and broccoli, I've got my udon noodles, fried tofu, I've got some corn kernels, or you can actually use uh, corn spears. And I've actually got the vermici noodles as well. My chili and coriander to dress. Okay, so we'll get some udon noodles in there. Now I'm not putting a lot, you can put a lot, really depends if you like them. There we go. Oh, it's a sticky sucker in it. Get some vermici noodles. You can put a generous amount in there as well, if you like. Some broccoli. I'm only going to put it into one of them. Some green beans. The guys are eagerly um, waiting. I've also got some corn. Carrots. Tofu. Boom shoots. Okay, last, let's pour the broth or the soup mix. In. Coriander, a bit of chili. Got oh, the chili one in there. And there is my laksa soup. Now remember guys, that you can actually use chicken, your prawns, whatever it is you want in there. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, what are your thoughts? Let's try. Yeah, looks really like a uh, postcard, doesn't it? It's very nice. There's a taste of sauce. Mm. Do you like it? Mm. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Well, that's it. So that's my vegan laxa soup. But remember, you can change it up and put prawns, um, seafood, um, chicken, anything like that. So hope you enjoy. Bye.